What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. It's Tommy Palms. Nikki T. And we have an exciting announcement to make for you guys today. We are going to be doing a challenge, and that challenge is the 75 Hard Challenge. For those of you guys who don't know what it is, it is a challenge that is put out by this guy named Andy Frisella, the owner of First Form. Um, so it's a really cool challenge. We're gonna to explain to you guys exactly what it is, uh, what we need to do in order to complete it. Before we do, Nikki has actually already done this challenge um, just under a year ago, and we, I just want her to explain to you guys exactly why she motivated me to do it myself. So yeah, I actually started it last year when the pandemic hit. Um, I'm a trainer, as you guys know, and as a trainer, you know, I have to be on the top of my game, inspiring my clients, and the first two weeks of the pandemic were hard. I was eating and drinking whatever I wanted, and I could tell, like, not only was I not taking care of my body, but everything caught up to me. I was tired, I was fatigued in my classes, I was not able to keep up teaching on Zoom, um, so I came about 75 hard on Instagram, and I was like, why the hell not? It's challenging, it's going to be a two and a half month grind. Um, and I just dove right into it. Yeah, and uh, what were kind of like some of the benefits you saw after completing the challenge? I would say the biggest thing was discipline um, and confidence. Like sticking to something for two and a half months strict with no one holding you accountable but yourself was the toughest thing, but I proved to myself that I could overcome that. Yeah, and what's cool about this is he has a podcast explaining the challenge and What's really cool about it, in my opinion, it's, you know, the, the company he owns is a big supplement company. He's very large in the fitness industry, but he doesn't make it out to be a physical transformation challenge. It's a mental challenge. And we'll explain why once you understand all the rules, but that is really kind of what drew me in more. You know, like I don't need a massive transformation of my body. Um, I don't need, at least I don't need a challenge in order to do that. Like I am driven to do that as it is. It's more the mental aspect of what this challenge is, is really what draw my attention. So um, let's get into the rules and regulations. So the first thing is it's called 75 hard because you have to do this for 75 days. And within any of those 75 days, if you mess up on the rules, you have to start over. So if you are on day 42 and you break one of these rules, it's done, you gotta repeat, okay? So all the way back to day one. And again, it's all about accountability. Like no one is going to be watching you. No one's gonna know if you forget one of the lists, one of the things on the list. Um, but you have to be real with yourself. And if, if you know you mess up, you gotta go back to day one. And if you keep going, then by the end of it, you're not gonna feel as good as you would have if you restarted. Yeah, so uh, first one, all right, it's follow a diet, all right? So he doesn't really get into you know, the details of what kind of diet to follow. He doesn't care what your diet is. As long as you pick a diet and you follow it for the full 75 days, then you're good to go, whether it's keto or macros or um, anything of that nature, you're good to go. And that's like the coolest part about this too is some of these are so vague that like you can make it your own. But the biggest thing with follow diet is no cheat meals and no alcohol. No alcohol and then also no, there's no soda. Yep, and no then there's sugar. also no added sugar. So you really can't, you can't be having dessert, even if it fits your macros, it's not like you do that. You can't go out to eat and order something there. You have to be cooking at home, prepping your food. You also can't, um, kind of forgot where I was going, but. I will piggyback off of that though. Um, that's one of the biggest things is like not being able to go out and eat. Like for us personally, yeah. we were hesitant to start this because we have so much coming up, um, just parties and family events coming up and you know, that counts as going out to eat, even if you're not cooking for yourself. So we're gonna be the two people at the parties bringing our foods with us, and you don't wanna look like the outliers, but at the same time, like, there's never a better time to start, and there will always be something. So we can't, we just realized we can't use that as an excuse to keep delaying it. Yep, and to add more onto the Gmails is where I was going earlier, it's like, you can't just like have like, one cookie and be like, it's not a big deal. Like you have that cookie, it's over. You have a sip of alcohol, it's over. Yep. All of those things count. So it is extremely strict in that circumstance. The diet itself isn't restrictive, but it's about being accountable and holding yourself to a standard. So that is really the best part about it. Yep. So that's rule number one. Rule number number two, two. Two workouts a day. Um, one must be outdoors and each have to be minimum 45 minutes long, 45 minutes long, 
And with your outdoor workout, you can't say, oh, it's raining out, I'll push it off. Like, no matter what the weather is, no matter if you're doing it winter, summer, you gotta get out there and grind. Yeah, every single day for 75 days, you're working out twice a week, so it's obviously extremely intense. But what's good about it is he doesn't care what your workout is. So for example, if you wanna go on a 45 minute walk as your outdoor workout, that's okay. It doesn't have to be high intensity, 99% of the time. You yeah. can mix it up, you can do what you want to do as long as you're putting in work for 45 minutes twice a day, one of which being outside, you're good to go. Yeah, and your body wouldn't be able to handle that if you were going hard yeah. for those two workouts. It's also about finding balance and figuring out days that you might go a little bit lighter on, but you're still getting that movement and activity in. Yeah, and once again, this is really where it comes down to being more of a mental challenge. Like, he's not making you do these super hard workouts so your body will transform. It's like, okay, you have to work out outside because if it's raining, that sucks, but you have to do it. Even just, just walk, walking isn't the hard part in that situation. The hard part in that situation is going outside because it's downpouring and you don't want to do that. And I will mention like in his podcast, he said something that resonated with me that I realized when I did it. He says in the beginning, um, it's going to be tough, then you're going to hit a point where it's, you just feel great and then it's going to be hard the rest of the way through. And like in the beginning it was like weird to get used to, about two weeks in I felt amazing on it and I was so motivated and then by the end it was like wow I really got to push myself and there were nights where it was like getting dark out and I'm like why haven't I left this house yet, there's like no choice but to go out. 10 o'clock I'm coming in and it's like time management at that point but it was just kind of sticking to it no matter what. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, those are the first two. Um, the third one is drink a gallon of water. Um, you know, this one is an interesting one. Not, I think it's just awesome. Like, you know, drink a ton of water because drinking water can only really benefit you for the most part. Of course, you could overdo water, but no one's doing that. For me, that's I, that's really not that hard. Um, and he says that it, drinking a gallon of water isn't hard, but it's tedious. Uh, but me, for someone my size and stature, like the amount I'm working out, like drinking a gallon of water isn't hard. For someone like Nikki, who's a lot smaller, I imagine that being a lot more challenging. So um, in that perspective, you know, it could be difficult. And I would say uh, for me, it's not as hard for the simple fact that like anytime going up close to competitions, I would always do a water cut. So I'm used to drinking that much water, not for two and a half months, 75 days straight, but um, I've done it before. So going into this, I knew I could do it again. However, going into it, when I started, I was not consistent with my water. Um, was not on it because I wasn't getting ready for competitions. So it was took me a little bit to get used to. Um, and this one definitely trips some people up because they see a gallon for someone who's never even tracked their water before. It seems like a lot, but your body definitely gets used to it. Yeah, and I would say this is probably like maybe the most beneficial one out of all of them from like average people who aren't really into the fitness realm or maybe you are, but like you don't really care about things outside of the gym. Like doing this will make a dramatic difference to your body, like dramatic. Oh yeah. Um, so that's the third, fourth one. It's read 10 pages of a self-development book. Um, this one was one of my favorites because I'm big into books and I love listening to podcasts that talk about books, but I could not stay committed to actually reading. And 10 pages doesn't seem like a lot, but there were nights where I was almost falling asleep on it because I saved it till the end. Um, but then by the end of it, I was proud to say that I finished a few books and I wouldn't have done it without the challenge. And I love that it's a self-development because you're working on yourself. So again, it's not just about the fitness, it's about the mental aspect as well. But it could be business, it could be life, it could be uh, meditation, it could be anything that just moves you forward in life. And he mentions in this podcast, audiobooks do not count. Yep, no audiobooks, no fiction books, it has to be non-fiction, of course. Um, so yeah, that's a, that'll be an interesting one for me. So it's not that I, I'm constantly learning, but it's I love just like podcasts or even audiobooks. Like I'm big on those. Like I, I read a lot of articles, I'd say, and I watch a lot of YouTube. But once again, it's not really books. I'm not really a hardcover kind of guy. So this will be something new for me, and I can only imagine it'll really benefit my life. And I'm actually very excited because when we first started dating, like I was just coming off of 75 Hard, and I saw what this did to me. And I've mentioned a few times like you should really try this book. And he would say like, oh, I'm more like an article podcast guy. So now. I just feel like we get to share, you know, I have some books to lend to him and we get to just bond over that. Yeah, so it'll be fun. And the final one is take a progress picture. Um, you know. Every single day. Yeah, every single day you have to take a pro <laughs> progress picture. Um, I mean, I feel like I've always taken pictures of myself. <laughs> those of you who know me, so not too big of a deal there. But um, I think this is great because it's gonna be like his whole thing is like you can make like a scrapbook of just all 75 pages and go through it real quick. Like that is gonna be a really cool transformation to see. Once again, it's not a transformation in his uh, body transformation. It's not, he doesn't think that's really the priority of this challenge, but at the end of the day, it's still gonna be a sick transformation, so. And I do have to say, out of all of these, for as simple as that seems, this was my hardest. 
and I regret not doing it in the mornings. Um, I did it at night, and at night, I just, with all of this that came before it, I was very tired. And some days I'm, I was laying in bed, I'm like, all right, I've gotta get up, I've gotta change. It was also motivation to keep my room clean for the photos even though I didn't do everything, you know. This, you might not even do anything with all these 75 pictures, but it's just the ha getting into a habit of doing something repetitively, like it's huge. Yeah, once again, it's just tedious. It's like, it's very easy to slip in your mind and you can't let it, because if you forget, you lose. That's an easy one to forget. Yeah. And you have to go back to day one if you miss yeah. a day of that. Any of the stuff you miss, it's back to day one, so. Yeah, um, so this is the 75 hard challenge rules. Since Nikki's done this, there is a next step. He has a few phases afterwards that build on habits. That's the whole thing about it's building habits. So she's gonna be doing what is called phase one and she'll tell you a little bit more about that. So phase one is only 30 days and I'm actually going about this a little bit differently. So me and Tommy are both starting this together. Um, I have to do everything that he has to do for 75 hard with the addition of three new tasks. But I'm starting this on day one, so I'm technically in phase one. Once I'm done with those 30 days, I'm gonna most likely take two, right now I'm saying this, but two out of the three out of it, um, and continue going through 75 hard with him just to help um, him get through it to the end. And also, I don't want him to be so far advanced and forget me behind. <laughs> no, but I look forward, I look forward to continuing this out with him and challenging myself as well, because after I was done with this last year, I was like, I'm never gonna do it again. And then less than a year later, I'm like, Tommy brought it up and I was like, let's go, <laughs> let's nice. go. So the first one, Tommy said he would join in with me. We'll save five minute cold shower every day. Now I'm terrible with the cold, but it's uh, challenging and it's gonna keep me disciplined. And out of all these, this is the one I'm not looking forward to the most. Um, so seeing myself do that for 30 days straight is awesome. So basically get in the shower, turn it up as cold as you possibly can for five minutes. And as you go through it, your body starts to get used to um, the cold temperature, or even in the five minute span, like by minute number three, you might be getting used to it. The goal is to never feel comfortable. So if you start getting comfortable, you gotta just keep cranking it down to as cold as you possibly can. Yeah, uh, a little pro tip on that one, because I've done cold showers before. If you're new to it, like you could definitely ease into it. I mean, I don't know what he, I haven't heard him talk about the phase one, so maybe I'm wrong and she'll tell me if I am, but like, um, maybe start, you know, get in the shower, um, get your body going first. Don't drop your head under that shower right off the bat because that will mess you up real bad real quick. That would just be my pro tip. Yeah, he actually mentions, um, I listened to one of his podcasts about phase one, that he was like, I know some people will just crank the shower to cold and jump in. He goes, great for those people, but I can't handle it. Like, okay. And he couldn't handle that himself. So yeah. he does, he showers completely in warm or hot water and then at the end of his shower, he'll go in and start cranking it down. And then Thank once you. it's cold enough to that temperature he knows he really can't stand, even if he eases his weight into it, that's when he starts the timer. Gotcha, yeah, definitely. Um, Number two, do? three powerless tasks. Now this is one that I'm 100% gonna do for the rest of the challenge and maybe the rest of my life. I love it. So the powerless task is basically, um, three critical tasks a day that you need to get done in order to win the day. And it's not goal based. It can't be like um, start up a business or make this amount of money. Like it's those tedious little things that you know that you want to stick to, but you have a hard time sticking to, such as like a new client phone call or do a Zoom session with a client or something that um, is just on your task list for the day that you know it'll feel great to finish. And the reason why this is so important is because we have a million and one things to do in one day and um, when we go into a day with a plan so big and without writing it down, most of those things won't get done. Um, by the end of the day, you could feel like you're behind or you can go through, go through what's called paralysis by analysis. Have you ever heard of that term? I'm not too familiar. It's, it, I, I heard about it the first time and I was like, whoa, it's so true. So paralysis just means you're stuck, analysis is overanalyzing. So um, it's something that I've struggled with, like having so much I want to get done that I just don't do anything at all because of anxiety. Um, so just doing three a day, he recommends three to five, but three a day only for this challenge. Um, we really start to build those habits up and as you start to accomplish them and make them your habits, you change them out. So let's say for you it's um, running. Like you want to get into the habit of running and you start that off right away. And then after a week of running, you're like, I don't have to write this down on my list. I know I'm going to do it. Cross it out and then add new ones to the list. Very cool. Right? So it's not the same ones for all 30 days. It's not the same one. Changing. Yep. And cool. it's just building those habits. Um, last one is 10 minutes of visualization. So I would say this one might be hard for me. Um, I've tried a little different than meditating, but I've tried meditation in the past and I'm suck at sitting still. Um, this is a little bit more advanced than just meditating and breathing. You're literally sitting there for 10 minutes with your eyes closed, envisioning what you want for your future. Like 
you're supposed to be so detailed in your mind and it's definitely hard to do. I've tried it before and I'm like, my imagination might not be good enough, but um, you literally picture yourself winning at something or five years down the line, owning something big and you picture people's faces in the crowd or you literally have to think about the smells that you, you're gonna smell or like the reactions you're gonna get, the conversations, the clothes you're wearing, like whatever it may be, uh, whatever you picture for your future, 10 minutes every day. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah guys, so um, this is the rules and regulation 75 hard. We're gonna be starting tomorrow. Today is Sunday, what, March, any club? Eight. Eight? All right. Seven. Could be. <laughs> Regardless, we're starting tomorrow. Um, so I'm excited to get after it. We're having a big cheat day right after this meal. Not cheat day, cheat meal, because uh, it's the end of the day. But we're looking to get into it. Um, and then we're going to be off for 75 days. And you guys can follow along and see how it goes. And if you have any questions throughout this whole process, we're here. Reach out to us through our comments. Don't forget to subscribe, like our videos, and just let us know what you think of our content. Peace.